Here we go. I'll fight the papyrus. The fight the papyrus. Paps. I'm back. You're back again? I finally realized the true reason why. You just miss seeing my face so much. I'm not sure I can fight someone who feels this way. No, I do miss you. Mostly, I'm getting really tired of talking from you. Fight the virus? No. Okay. I guess I'll accept my failure. We're fighting. You, hoo, hoo. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. I'm not going to be disappointed in you. I'll never join the World Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had a first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knows that's all I need to make pals? Let's give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capsule, cross the barrier. That's the magic of steel trapping us all on the ground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. And this monster is going to turn to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fussy shiver. Everybody loves that guy, and I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home bring, being a fool of friends. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah. <laughs> Walks off screen hilariously. Yep, we're having the date. Please don't feed it. Please don't feed it. Please just get in there. Hello, I'm ready for the date. So you came back to have the date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Wait, what? Pyrus. What the heck? My house. I'm just facing the pool. Oh, is this the kitchen? Ooh, I like blue. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Sure. <laughs> Wee! Ooh, cool! Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. It's a box of bones. There are no skeletons inside my closet except me sometimes. Look in the closet, yes. Cloves are hung up neatly inside. Like what? I want to be ready for the date. You ready for the date, the virus? Is this just, we just gonna look around your room and gonna see what we have to do now. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Sure, I don't really like looking around places. I like to, I like the story better. Begin the date? Yes. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my nurse. Yeah, papyrus. Sure, yeah. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the speaky on your keyboard for dating head. Reel it in. Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. I love this with a random egg in the corner. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Do you mind? I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Re really? Wowee, I guess that means time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. 
Is that a dog in the radar? Freaking dog. Hmm. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandage hanging off you. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. <laughs> no, could it be you pointed to take me from the very beginning? Yes. No, you planned it all. No way that you're dating than I am. No, your dating power. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I have a great virus. I've never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I think we can go to you to see I too can wear clothing. <laughs> in fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case someone happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret? Child! <laughs> oh, you look so cute, Papyrus. You're so freaking adorable. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. The stage won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret, but that won't happen. We will inspect to see. Your face. It's butt fly. No, it's not gonna be in the shirt or the pants. I don't think the sleeve. Is it in the gloves? Probably not. Holding my hands will tell you the answer? No, I must do this. It looks like a frying pan. My hat? My hat. My hat. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. This is a present. A present is just for you. I want to open it. Do you know what this is? Brains. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Yes. Right, but oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged and open car Chris Link by meat, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Um, nom, nom. Face reflects. Reflects the Taste is in this battle. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Erg. No hits in face. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all reason for my sake. Human, I want to be you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. Then that I told you, I papyrus. I um boy, is it hot in here or is it me? Oh shoot, human. I I'm sorry, I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, I that I was supposed to go on a date with you. I don't really like him that much. K.O. Wow. I'm stupid. Okay, one second. Oh my gosh. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. <laughs> papyrus is a heartless person. Skeleton. But instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. Totally. Dark person of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait. What's wrong? I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through the, these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. Same. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. Oh. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. Um, yeah. Yeah. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll let you settle for second best. <laughs> you know what? Oh, and if you never need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me at any time. Da 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 Sorry, Well, gotta go. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering what that um doo -doo 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 was for um in Pokemon when you get a new person's phone number, um it'll make that noise. And right now I'm really happy. So yeah. Special something. 
sand. Uh, this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Do I even want to? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. I don't even want to. Monster Kid! The Monster Kid. Yo, you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? Who are you talking about? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> Wait. Are they talking about Undyne? Because I remember in Grobies it said something about that. This is an echo flower. Okay, I thought it would repeat what Monster Kid said. I don't care. Save point. Sound of rushing water flows with determination. Hello, signs. I hope you don't mind. Nope. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs mean first money was only required for. I'm going to Grobies. Can you come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Where are you going? Over here, I know a shortcut. How? That shortcut, huh? You just jumped through the code. Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. Well, you must be thinking of breakfast. <laughs> here, get comfy. <laughs> Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes we're just put whoop cushions on the seat. Grilled. Anyway, let's order. Mitchy. What do you want? Fries or a burger? Um, I like fries. I love fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have a double order of fries. Grilby's so cool. <laughs> so, what do you think of my brother? Cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You can only take that thing off if he absolutely has it. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Grilby is so hot. But him. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? I love ketchup on my fries. Bon appetit. Tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoop. Ah, forget about it. You can have mine. Forget about it. I love that. I'm not hungry anyway. Of course you Stop stressing me, bud. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. The fire strikes real hard. Like how if he's trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let her let be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. Midnight. But the next day, she woke him up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. Um. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you something. What? Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Echo flower. Or flowy? So you know all about it. The echo flower. Oh, my gosh. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll do it over and over. What about it? Well, Ferris told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when I walk around. Flower appears in this person. Flattery, advice, encouragement. More an echo flower. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from my work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you pull up this? Can you the bill? Just... <laughs> Just kidding. Grubby, put it on my tab. I would have paid for it if I had the money. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. That's me all the freaking time. Oh, dang it. I want to see what the place that anything changed. I want something to be here. I know something's going to be there. Oh, him. That weird guy. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, guys, I'm really sorry, but I gotta go now, because 15-minute limit, as I said. It's already nine seconds over, so I'll see you guys next time, which will be in actually a moment for me. So, bye!